college. It's kind of a sad story. He goes there earnestly. Two sport athletes, what does he play? Football and lacrosse. Football and lacrosse, two different seasons. Okay, that makes sense. Play a guy? No, not as big Really? Sure. Football and lacrosse. He's a scrapper. And, and he's, he, the good news is I think he was converted by Kalamazoo College to be part of, and I don't call it the Republican Party, I call it a pro-American movement. But the sad part is how he was converted. You want to, you want to share with him? So he uh, was attending a, a party on campus one night, and he and his buddies, they're all lacrosseers or football players, went to this party, went to go into the party, and they were told, you're white, you have to pay. Wow. So who has to pay is based on their skin color. It's interesting, 60 years. It's like when you get closest to the promised land, that's actually when you start to become most hysterical about the fact you might actually get there. And I, and I think there's something going on in our psychology, right? When you lose faith, faith in God. When you lose belief in your country, belief in your family, belief in your own hard work. You start to latch on for a while we did this country's civil rights. Like that, that's what filled people's sense of hunger and purpose. And, and personally, I thought there's a time and place in our country where that's a good thing. Right? We have been imperfect for much of our nation's history in realizing up, you know, leveling up to our ideals. But the weird thing is now, the closest we are, you said in 1960, let alone 1860, that we would live in a country where anybody can achieve anything they ever want, regardless of the color of their skin, that we are all equal before the eyes of the law. That a 37-year-old with brown skin and a funny last name would be running a self-funded candidate for the President of the United States. They would tell you, we have reached the promised land. Right? That's Martin Luther King said, if we'll go to the promised land, I may not get there with you. But we are going to reach the promised land. This is the promised land that the civil rights activists themselves were talking about. And yet, when you lack that sense of American purpose, it's when you get to the promised land that you start making up all of the imagined things that create the very problems we had 160 years ago in this country. So anyway, I think that's Fox Colony. So <laughs> we should probably, uh, I, 